Aquarius Underwater Habitat is an 88 ton uh, school bus, if you want, underwater that sits on a 116 ton base plate. It's a really large object sitting on the seafloor, anchored down. Think of it as a submarine without wheels uh, down on the seafloor. If you want to live out on a reef and work for many hours in the day, the best way to do it is to saturate. That is to dive down, actually equilibrate with the surrounding environment, including pressure, temperature, and all the rest of that. Uh, stay down. Uh, it's much safer to stay down. You don't have to deal with problems with your ears, uh, uh, decompression and recompression. Uh, you don't, in other words, have to do bounce diving. And so you're living in the environment, you come to equilibrium with it, and it's possible to work as much as 10 hours a day or more out on the reef. Our group is working with uh, advanced instrumentation to try to distinguish this global ocean acidification effect from acidification that occurs as a result of local processes. For example, as water washes across the reef from offshore and from nearshore, there's all kinds of changes in the acidity. How is a reef manager going to distinguish between local variations in ocean acidity and that which is coming as a result of global uh, CO2 increases? So we're trying to learn how to distinguish between those two sources of acid. Uh, we've got uh, most of our experiments are oriented towards working in the benthic environment, that is right on the seafloor, where there are lots of organisms that generate CO2. Sponges, for example, they breathe just like we do. They take in oxygen, they exhale CO2, they just exhale it into the water column. So we're trying to distinguish between that source of acidity and the global source of acidity. Aquarius uh, uh, reef base as a whole has two features that are really important to us. One is we can safely live there because of the support team that's backing us up and because of the facility itself that's well maintained. It also has power and communications capabilities. We're actually able to watch our instruments produce data real time, both in Aquarius, uh, back on shore here. In fact, you can see data coming off our instruments back at some of the companies we work with, for example, in Norway. So it's a very special situation in which we can do high-tech experiments under very safe conditions in an environment that's normally alien to human beings. Our work fits into efforts that are going on around the world now to understand the potential impacts of ocean acidification. Uh, the way it fits in is that most workers that are working on this problem have to work in laboratories, for example, with organisms in aquaria, uh, or for example, they simulate experiments and do modeling efforts, or they lower ropes over the uh, wires over the side with instruments on them to get glimpses of what's going on. Our work is actually designed to make real-time measurements for extended periods of time on the seafloor, surrounded by a coral reef environment.